of the Holy Spirit. Let us honor Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Let us honor him who sits on the throne, our God and maker. Glory to your name, Jesus. Yes, Tanana Sheta Boranta Dayande. We honor you, Jesus. We are going to open up just for one prophetic word. We hear the voice of the Lord. Sheta.
just one person. Ni kukusanyisha ni makusanyisha walio wangu. Ni kushusha nitashusha nguvu zangu na roho wangu. Ni kuachilia ninaachilia nguvu na mamuraka. Kwa walio kuwa wamekaa mahali pamoja kwa muda mrefu. Ni mwamkomvia ninaachilia kwa wana wangu. Ni kuainua ninawainua kiwango kingine. Ni wengi ninatuma kwa kazi yangu. Wengi wamekuwa wamekataa. Ni kushuka nimeshuka. Kwa ajili ya nguvu za kwenda kunifanyia kazi. Ni milango mikubwa nimefukua ya kimataifa. Ni mataifa inawakotea. Ni mataifa inawakotea. Diposa nikatuma watumishi wangu kutoka bali. Waweze kuja kuwa impact. Ukaweze kunifanyia kazi. Ni kushusha na shusha roho wangu. Wa ujasiri ili mkanifanyie kazi ya sema roho wa Bwana. Father, we thank you. Let us appreciate the Lord for that word of encouragement. It's time. It's time. Father, we thank you. We honor you for your presence in your house this morning. We honor you because you are Lord. We honor you because you are King. We honor you because you are Master. Receive our praise and our thanksgiving. Our hearts are glad. Thank you for the joy of the Lord in the house this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to usher in. Just kindly take your seats. Take your seats kindly. I just want to introduce Dr. Nico, then he's going to be with you on stage. Allow me this morning to specifically... Welcome you once again to Christian Foundation Fellowship, uh, um, not South Africa, <laughs> Nairobi, Kenya. Amen. Are you glad to be in Nairobi, Kenya? My pastor friends, are you glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Yes, we have pastors in the house who have come to join with us. Dr. Edward, I want to say a very, uh, very big thank you so very much on behalf of the Archbishop for, open up the, for opening up the house for us to come and be part of this great work that you're doing in this part of the continent of Africa. Thank you so very much for allowing my team from South Africa to be part of this great conference. And we could not have done it without your hand, love, and support. Let us appreciate the Archbishop and the leadership Dr. Edward represented here. Thank you so very much. And Pastor Mary and everybody else who is with us. Allow me now to also mention Dr. Nico is here together with uh, Pastor Jonathan, my wife is also here. Just say wave, Pastor Rachel. Thank you so very much. Dr. Nico, please come. Let us continue. Let us not break what the Spirit of the Lord is doing. Thank you, Jesus. So wonderful to be with you in the presence of God. 
We had a wonderful time here. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. I want us, while the anointing of God is in this place, that we continue with that song. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon everyone in this place, ready to touch everyone, to fulfill the need of everyone in this place. So let's just, if you don't mind, stand on your feet again. And we're going to make it easy so that I can also join with you. While we sing hallelujah, hallelujah, it's not just a song, it's not just a ritual. We bring sacrifices unto God this morning. And we believe that everybody that attends this conference will go out with a testimony of God's grace and love. How many of you would love? that you can get out of this conference with a mega testimony of what God has done. You don't raise your hands for me. You raise it now to God. So while we're going to sing it, I want you to raise your hands in expectation. While you uplift him, he'll take care of that need. While you uplift his throne, as the ruler of the kings of the earth, he will come down and take rulership of your life and your situation. Amen. And then we just flow into what God has on his agenda. It's not about me. It's not what I have programmed or what I think should happen. He's the counselor. He's in our midst. And counselor means that he knows exactly what is the need of those who reach out to the counselor. So are you aware that he is a higher supreme authority in our midst called the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of the Lord? Amen. So as we sing it, I just want to challenge you this morning to open your heart. Bring that desire. Allow him to come down to counsel you and you will walk out with a testimony. With a testimony. Uh, yesterday we just touched on, and Pastor Jonathan is going to continue this morning also just to touch on the keys of the kingdom. The keys of the kingdom. And while we were singing, I just realized, Pastor Jonathan, maybe the most powerful tool and key in the kingdom of God is to walk around with a testimony. <laughs> with a testimony. Because it gives evidence that you received something from on high that cannot be taken away. That cannot be questioned. It is like an endorsement on your spirit. It's like a burning fire within you. And that's why the Bible says, while we are in a time of challenges, in a time that you have to face the challenges of life, if you can, while the wind blows against your life. Be counseled in a time like this. The Bible says that when he comes, you will overcome him by the word of your testimony. Because he cannot take away what God is doing and what God is about to do this morning. I didn't plan it. I just ask him through the night, God, just come and reach out in your own gentle way and come and counsel us today. He did it right from the beginning of the word. If you go to Genesis 1, 3, where he created mankind, and very quickly they got 
entangled and challenged by the onslaught of the enemy. So much so that the first human beings were isolated from the source of life just like that. That's why Jesus came to this world to restore what the enemy has achieved and cancel it because the enemy claimed to be the prince of this world. That's why Jesus came down. He didn't stay there in heaven, least God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And try to control or to maneuver what's happening here. He decided to come down on earth. Here where we walk today. Here where we stand today. And on this home turf. Solid soil. Where Lucifer claimed to be the prince of this world. He said we will get to evil and equal level. I'll come down where you claim to be the Prince of Peace. And I'll face the challenge of this world. I pay the price of this world. So that, what is the day today? Is it? What's the date? The fourth. The fourth. So do you think that the fourth of April 24? It's a surprise for God. He doesn't know what to do and how to go about. He paid the price. So that on the 4th of April. 2024. He is ready. To counsel. Because in Genesis 1 to 3. When mankind hidden. Was off isolated he stepped up and he visited them in the garden of Eden and he plainly asked them where are you where are you they could hear the sound they could hear the voice they could hear that he approached them the creator of mankind They responded. They said. And you know what they did? They covered themselves and they hide. They responded and they said, We're hiding because we're naked. And maybe your people this morning, you're naked. You have no answer how to get out. You hiding behind that storm that attacks your life. So Jesus said, who told you that you're naked? Who told you? But God has already made provision to cover them. That same counselor. That same God that visited them. In Genesis 1-3, you'll find him also at the end of the Bible in Revelations 1-3, that same counselor. So he said to the church today, the counselor is here. He's walking in our midst. He's walking in our midst. He also got a response in Revelations. He also got a response where he said, I heard you say, but I know, I know. So they also covered them up. They also tried to hide. But after he paid the price, they shouldn't hide. But still he's coming to the church. And he said, I know you. Where are you? I know that you say, I lack nothing. I heard you say I have everything, but I know you. I know your need. So I'm standing at the door of your heart. And this is what I hear this morning. There's a knock 
from the heavenies at the heart of everyone in this place. Because he knows you. He heard what you say, but he knows you. And I just want you, while we're going to sing this song a few more times, that you invite him and that you call upon his name. You can sit down, that's fine. You can sit down. But I want everyone in this place, you're not hiding. You may be moved to this place this morning and there's not many people that know that you are here, but God knows you are here. Amen. God knows you are here. However your reasoning may be this morning, God said, you say, but I know you. I know you. And I'm ready to counsel you. I knock at the door and if you open up, I will come in and I have a celebration. How many of you believe that this day is secured for a celebration? And this morning is secured for a celebration? And this morning is secured for a testimony? And this morning can change your life? Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. So maybe I should just prepare the soil and then we're going to sing the song as we usher into his presence. You will overcome him. Later on, the statement has been made, you'll overcome him by the word of your testimony. If you allow the counselor this morning to change, to radical, come into your life. That's the, that's the key of the kingdom. Because he said you'll overcome him by the word of your testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb secured this morning the keys of the kingdom. To shut down what should be shut down. And to open up what should be opened up. So in the name of Jesus, I thank God that the counselor is in our midst. The counselor is not a guest of honor. We're not going to welcome him yet. We're going to allow him to take every heart. I, I wish I could touch everyone here. I wish I could touch everyone here. But this is not just an idle wish. God is here to touch everyone. And especially your ministers. To touch everyone that is sitting here today. That's the agenda for this morning. So while you sing hallelujah. And we uplift Jesus. The keys of heaven are open. The keys of heaven open up. And you can just usher in. Come on, let's sing hallelujah before the throne of God. Let's just stand for a moment again, if you don't mind. Hallelujah. Come on, choir, you can follow. Counsel your people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your blood. We praise you for the blood that's been shed. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, God, thank you. You've got an appointment, yes, sir. Testimony, God. Thank you for testimony. Thank you for testimony. Thank you for testimony. Thank you. Yes, testimonies, testimonies. They are 
overcome him by the blood of the Lamb. They overcome him by the word. You will have a testimony, brother. Testimony. 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 Glory to God. Hungry. Hungry for God. Hungry. 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 Hungry for testimony. Testimony, God. Testimony. Testimony. Thank you, Jesus. You'll overcome him. 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 Testimony. Testimony, God. Testimony. Testimony. Resurrected Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, my brother, yes. It's you that were anointed last night. Testimony provision is coming. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Yes, it's coming. Provision is coming. It's coming. announce that provision is coming provision is coming to your life provision is coming to your household provision is coming to you don't mess out on this moment provision is coming provision is coming provision is coming Oh, 
solution is coming. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Counselor. Thank you, Provision is coming. Provision is coming. In, in their lives they need we heard it yesterday they need a breakthrough today while the council is and I mean I, I touch many people and I try to get as much as possible to most of you maybe in need that needs a testimony I need that people that hasn't been touched but they're hungry and they're desperate that God will intervene in their lives. I want you to line up here. Desperate. I'm not... Uh, listen here. If you have already been counseled and been taken care of, are you so many desperate people in this place? Oh. I want the ashes to position yourself. Can we just check here? How many of you that attended this week in the conference already got a testimony of God's intervention in your life? How many? Is there any? Only one, two, three. I ask people that already got help from God, provision from God during this week. Can you raise your hand? You just raise your hand. Yes, enough testimonies around us. If you look to your right and your left, you'll see there's people this week that has been touched by God. So everyone in this place. So I want to claim it as a servant of God this morning. My heart is crying. And I can hear the heaven is, is crying. Is your faith in this place? And believe that God can do.
do something special in your life right now, today. So what I'm going to do, and we try to touch everyone, but I want everyone that's standing in front of me, we're going to take you, I mean, God is not going to miss out on any one of you. But I want you to raise your hands to the heaven, and we're going to ask the Father to come corporately. Pastor Jonathan, come and help me here. Corporately. Corporately means... That he is taking care of everyone that's standing in front of his throne. It means that when Jesus ministered and thousands of people stepped up, that he could reach out and his disciples to everyone and give everyone food. The cry of my spirit today is that we can come in and have a good time, but you still walk out. And you haven't got that key, that key, that evidence, that proof that God has provided in your need. Here's too many people standing here that walk back to these circumstances. That walk back to the situation that you flee from. That hide like Adam and Eve, like hiding where is God. Where is God? Does he know that I'm naked? Yes, I know. Yes, I know. And right from Genesis to Revelation, the same voice come. I know. I know what is your need. I know what is your need. So let's pray and trust and everyone around them, surround them with your testimony. And pray as we corporately pray that they will walk out with the tool and evidence God has provided. We have a plain and simple request this morning. And we proclaim it during this week. God, come and provide that everyone that attends here will walk out and say, God has provided. God has provided. That's nothing than bring so much joy when you down and out and the next day and the next moment you just realize it has been banished in my life it has been removed in my life this is what God wants to do right here right now so raise your hands by faith we come this morning Pastor Jonathan just speak life over them just proclaim provision and I want every pastor, pastors, men of God, wouldn't you just do a backdrop for me behind this crowd? Behind this crowd. You know what it means. You preach it in your church. You invite the people for an intervention of God's grace. We preached it yesterday. And I'm not arrogant today. We long to see how God intervenes today. How he provides today. How he can change the situation that within 24 hours, the prophet and the king and everyone will say, within 24 hours, God has turned it around. I mentioned it yesterday and I read it. I want you by faith, listen to me. I want you to say it. I want, and if you don't understand it, just try. Just try. Ask the person next to you, what should we do? I want every one of you to say it with me. Because in the palace of the king, where there was a situation like that, the second in charge said, it's not possible that God can change it within 24 hours. But I'm going to pray for a miraculous intervention here. So I want you to say with me, I believe God that in my situation, 
There will be a turnaround within 24 hours. Tomorrow this time, my whole situation will be totally turned around. Pastors, you there at the back. You there at the back while you support. I want you to pray with me now. Within 24 hours. Within 24 hours. The need of this house will totally change. Because right now, the counselor is here to intervene. Come, Pastor Jonathan, pray over this house. You keep it there. You keep Lift it there. Put your hands towards heaven. Pray this now over here. Father, Father change, change my situation. My situation. Do it again. Father. Jesus! Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for me, the need of everyone here. Provision is coming to you. Provision is coming to you. Provision is coming to you. Provision is coming. Provision is coming. Divine provision. You claim it this morning. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine provision. Divine connection. Just share a few words. Don't get out of the spirit. Stay in the spirit now. Stay in it, stay in it, stay in it. The longer you stay in it, the more you soak in it, the more you absorb it, the more it becomes of you. Pastor Peter, so bring my Bible, bring my Bible, my glasses, my a cell phone as well, just in case I, let's see what the Lord will say. Chateau Dada Hosate Roshe Kata. Okay, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. I want to pray for marriages. I want to pray for marriages. Hallelujah. I want to pray for marriages right now. So I'm going to just ask Pastor Rachel. Ma'am, just come stand here with Pastor Peter. Just as a point of contact for the people to see. I want to pray for marriages right now. I want every married person in this house to stand. If your husband is not here, your wife is not here, that's fine. If you are here with your husband or your wife, stand with them now. 
Stand with them now. God wants to do something in marriages. You cannot function if this is not connected to God. You watching? Mar married couples, look. This cannot grow. It cannot grow if this does not grow. You have to be connected to him for this union to become larger. So right now, I come against every attack on marriages. Right now in the name of Jesus, every one of you that is facing challenges in your marriage, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I come against every attack on marriages of every life in this house right now. Father, I pray for husbands who are astray, husbands who are not walking with you, and the lady has to carry the burden. I pray for the men to come in alignment with the plan of God. In Jesus' name, come here, come here, come here. Understand that the attack has come because of the purpose. Before the foundation of the earth, this was purposed for you. Purposed, purposed, purposed. And that's why the attack has come so strong. But today it breaks. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now. Now. Father, set them free. Set them free. Father, I pray. Bless this marriage. Bless it. Blessed, 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 blessed. He will be what you've been praying for. He will be what you've been standing for. He will be the man you desire. He will be the man you pray for. Father, give it to her. Now, now, hallelujah, right now every couple, okay, very quickly, very quickly, I want, if there's couples in the house, I want you to come quickly, quick, 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 there's a couple other things I want to pray for, but if there's married couples, husband and wife together, stand here, quick, 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 quick. For well, the destiny is great. The destiny is great. The destiny is great. You've been challenged. You've been challenged, but the destiny is great. Father, together I pray. Strong, 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 strong in the name of Jesus. Never to be the same again. Oh, yes. Never to be the same again. Do not miss tomorrow morning, tomorrow night. Something supernatural is going to happen in your life. You will never be the same again. They have limited you. They have limited you and put you in a box. But the destiny, the destiny is great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. He cannot do it without you. Cannot cannot you stand no matter how tough it gets no matter how hard it gets you stand because he cannot do it without you uh -huh. thank you Holy Spirit stand having done all stand in the storm, stand. In the rains, stand. In the floods, stand. When all else fails, stand. Your strength. 
Sir, your strength. Stand together. The days that she is weak, pick her up. You pick her up. And you protect. Don't allow anybody to say anything about her. You protect. The days he's weak, stand him up. Pick him up. Hold him up. So you are his wife. I watched you there. And I saw gold. And then I saw you and I saw gold. Look, the connection of God. Wealth. 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 Wealth comes to your house. No more lack. 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 I come against it in the name of Jesus. Supply. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Greater things, says the Lord. Greater things you will do together. Greater things. You have a measure, she has a measure. Greater things you will do. What you will do for the kingdom will be powerful. Receive it now. What you will do for the kingdom will change lives. It will be greater. Greater. Greater, says the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mama, come put your hand here, please. By this way. In the name of Jesus. How many children say? Uh, three children. Father, in the name of Jesus, the fruit of our womb are blessed. Mm. I come against every attack over your children right now. Every attack on their lives. In the name of Jesus, the fruit of her womb are blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Where is the... There was a couple standing here just there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Tall in the Spirit. Tall in the Spirit. Tall in the Spirit. Power to overcome. Power to overcome. Overcome. In Jesus' name. Now. Ah. Oh. Blessed. 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 Watch the little baby. Blessed. 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 Blessed are you. In the name of Jesus.
greater, greater, greater measure, greater measure, greater measure. Father, bless this marriage. These pastors who serve. I have noticed all of it, says the Lord. I've seen all of it. I've seen you serve. I've seen you give. I have seen it all. I have seen it all. Now, I pour back into your bosom rivers, 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 rivers of living water. Karado shate, rasho tata, reshetebe, rusataba, reshoto, ebo, daba, dede, sata. As you labor, as you labor in the kingdom, as you labor in the kingdom, as you labor in the kingdom, Watch, watch, watch how I will supply. I'll supply, I'll supply. Yeah, that project now that you're standing believing, I will supply, I'll supply, I'll supply. I will supply. You are mine, says the Lord. You are mine. You are mine. I will take care of you. Don't look at the man. Don't look at the people. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. I will supply. They've let you down. Some have walked away. I will supply. They saw it. They saw the vision. They walked away. They said, no, it's too big. I will supply. You are my servant, says the Lord. You are my handmaiden, says the Lord. I see you, Mama, I see you molding in the spirit realm. It's your calling, it's your gifting. You mold and you shape people and you speak into people and you change their lives. God's going to give it back. All the years, all the years, the years of standing with him. The years of standing with him. Yeah, there's been some tough times. It's been rough. But the years of standing with him. God's going to give it back. Back to you. Sheta borosa. Resho kata. Esukabashete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Peter. Pastor Rachel, come here. Just stay there, sir. A new season. A new season. A new season. A new season of glory. New season of fire. New season of power. New season of anointing. New season of grace. It will come. It will come like a whirlwind. Like a whirlwind. Like a whirlwind. Like a whirlwind. It will overtake you. It will overtake you. It will overtake you. It will overtake your life. Father, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, bless my friends. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Pastor Peter, you've been set aside. You've been set aside. I see the finger of God on you. I see the finger of God on you. He has placed a fingerprint on you. From today you are marked. From today you are marked. From today you are marked as a servant of the Most High God. Marked, peculiar, flowing in a peculiar anointing. Pastor Rachel will carry. Pastor Rachel will hold. Pastor Rachel will be a strength. This union will be a testimony to the world. To the world. Pastor Peter, when you get back to SA, the soil would have been prepared Amen. by the women of God. Amen. You will walk into a new harvest Amen. in your church. Amen. Yeah, Amen. I see the church, I see like fields just been ripened and ready, 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 ready. And you're going to walk into a ministry that's ready for harvest, ready for harvest. 
No more financial lack. Never again. Never again. It is blessed. Good. Thank you, Father. I'm going to pray for this couple. And then I got three words God gave me earlier to some folks. I want to pray with them. Hallelujah. Greatness. Greatness in your belly. But it's been limited. You know what you're called to do. You know what you're supposed to do. And you say, Lord, I've gotten to this place. Why has it stopped all of a sudden? Greatness. The enemy will not stop. He can delay. He can try. But he will not stop what God has for your life. You are set aside. You are anointed. You are appointed. And Father, I pray today, Lord, there will come a fire. Yeah, renewal. There will come a fire. A fire, a fire, a fire, a fire from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. A fire that will consume them. Consume them. Consume their ministry. Consume their ministry. Fire of God. Fire of God. Like never before. The fire of God. Sir. The fire of God, sir. The fire of God all over you. The fire of God, woman of God. The fire of God over you. You will begin to prophesy as thus saith the Lord. It will be accurate. It will be direct. It will speak to people's lives. You will have a gift of prophetic like you've never had before. In the name of Jesus. Wisdom will flow out of you, sir. Wisdom. You will speak wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom. Wisdom will come out of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, bring my book that found the black fire. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. When I was praying this morning, hallelujah. When I was praying this morning, God always gives me some direction before service. He's wonderful that way. And uh, before I came to the service, I said, Lord, show me. Would you hold that for me? I said, Lord, show me, show me, show me, show me, because there's some people that need something. I want to specifically pray for three or four people that uh, as I saw you coming in, the Lord gave me something for you. So I want to do that right now. Just keep it open there, please. Ma'am, as you walked in, I saw, I don't know you, I've not met you, so I humble myself before you, but I see legacy, your profile on your life. You will leave a legacy that will change a nation. A nation. You will leave a legacy that will change a nation. Where's my friend? Come stand with me. No, 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 no. I need you. You will change a nation. You've been fought on many occasions. You've been saying, but you're a lady. You can't do this. No, no, no. You will leave a legacy. A legacy of grace. A legacy of strength. Now, there's coming a season in the next six to two years, six months to two years, where young women are going to come to you and you are going to mentor and train and you will teach. You will teach. Father, I thank you for your servant. Thank you for the legacy that she will leave. Thank you for the legacy. Thank you for the legacy. Father, Thank you. Now, I sense you need divine strength. Can I just ask the guy on the piano, just play, brother. Play. Play as you feel it. Just the piano. Just play because you, as you're playing, the grace is growing. The anointing is growing. I sense strength. Strength in your body. Strength in your body. Father, in the name of Jesus. For the next leg of the race, strength. Strength supernatural strength father empower your servant empower her she has served you faithfully empower her in jesus name amen now you see this is where we need to be careful because as the anointing grows we want to sit down and relax i want you to start to stand up quickly and i want you to pray i need you to pray the more you pray the more god does the more you pray because that's your hunger. How hungry are you? Hmm? How hungry are you for the anointing? How hungry are you for the fire of God? The more you tap in, it's like a tap, you know. If it was, the more you open the tap, the more it comes out. 
you have to open it now so now lift your hands towards heaven yeah say father pour it over me fresh oil fresh fire in the name of jesus come on just receive 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 right where you are just receive 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 now now in jesus name now in jesus name fresh oil Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh, fresh, fresh from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Fire, 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 I'm just going to take you out. We've got another 15 minutes. Ra da ro shata, ra da ro shata, re shota ba 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 bo ba bo shete. Oh ba 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 ba. Ya da 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 da. In the name of Jesus. Great servant of God. Great servant of God. I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten you. I have not forgotten you. Father, she gives so much. Fuller. Fuller to overflowing. In the name of Jesus. Fuller, 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 fuller. Fuller, jada do shata. Rada de shota. Rada da do shata. Rada da do shata. Yeah, just begin to pray. Don't worry about me. It's between you and God. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a tool. That's all I am. It's you and God right now. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Now, now, Father fall. Father fall. Fire of God 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 fall. In the name of Jesus. Fire of God fall. Spirit of God move. Strengthen. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Shika Boro Shaka ta 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 ta. Reshe pe 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 pe. Roshata ya da rosa. Come here, sir. A new fire. 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 Okay. Where's that book, sir? I just need two words. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, two words. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I know the camera people do a lot of running around when I preach. <laughs> My camera guys that just do the same thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. When, when, when I looked at you, when I looked at you, I just glanced, you know, because the Holy Spirit just tells me to look and do, and uh, oh, sha. And I looked at you, and they started singing that song, Shuka, Shuka Roho. Father, in the name of Jesus, let it rain down on his life. Let it rain down on his life. Fresh fire, fresh wind. You need it now, like you've never needed it before. You need it now. Let's get him up quickly. He needs fresh fire. It's been taken out of you. Years of toiling, <laughs> years of roaming. Years of running. So how much more, Daddy? How much more? Father, fill him. Father, fill him. Fill him. Fill him. Fill him to overflowing. Fill him. He's your servant. He's your child. Fill him, Daddy. Fill him. Fill him. Fill him. Fresh. Hallelujah. Okay, thank you, Lord. I want, and I, I humble myself in this sense, please, 
I humble myself, but pastors that want the fire of God to rain down. I am the first witness. I know what it feels like when you've been toiling the land and it becomes difficult, Pastor Peter, and you get drained. But some of you need the shuku of God. You need it to rain down on you. So now, quickly, here. Yeah. And I want some of the senior ushers, people behind them, any pastors that want that, you know, don't be embarrassed. You need the fire too. We cannot, we cannot function without it. I want the brother in the white chair, sir. I have a word for you. I have a word for you. As I saw you standing there in your white outfit, I saw the Spirit of God say to me, purity. Yeah, just do that. Okay. Purity. Purity of the Spirit over your life God says watch everything keep your life pure before him keep your life holy before him like this outfit that is so white <laughs> keep yourself pure 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 no I need you to walk with me come 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 in every area in every area of your life, of your ministry, the finances, keep it pure. Everything. Ha! Ah! Oh! Rosa. Now, lift your I don't have to do anything. I don't have to say anything. You just receive. Men of God, receive. Let the fire of God rain down on you. We need the fire of God. We deal with people all the time. We deal with the glory of God all the time. We need the fire of God. We cannot function without it. Now, Father, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, these are your servants. These are your servants. Fill them. 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 Strength. Strength. I pray strength over you. Oh, come here. You work so hard. You give so much strength of the Holy Spirit on you. Strengthen your servant. Strengthen him. Now, Lord, with fire. Father, I pray Thank more grace. Oh, yes. Ooh. Yes, more Lord. grace for the next level. Yes. More Thank grace you, for the Jesus. next level. You, more Jesus. grace for the next oh, level. Yes. More grace, more grace, more oh, grace, more grace. More grace, more grace, more grace. More grace, more grace, more grace. More grace, more grace. More fire, more fire, more fire. More fire, more fire, more fire. More fire, more fire. More, 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 more. You will never be the same. After this conference, sir, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. I will fill you to overflowing. I will fill you to overflowing, says the Lord. It will be a level you cannot contain. Greater things will you do in my name, says the Lord. Ooh. Greater. Greater. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. I called you. I called you, says the Lord. I set you aside. You are mine. This daddy's dressing you now. He says, son, you are mine. I called you in the name of Jesus. Father. Okay. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't, 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 don't. Shh. My son, in whom I am pleased, you work well, you work hard, you give. Continue, continue. Shh. Father, I pray for your servant now. I pray for health, yes. divine health, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. I come against sickness and disease in this body. Yes. Father, I pray, yes. divine health, divine health. Yes. Great grace, 
for the journey ahead. What God has for you is huge. It's just the beginning. You've seen success. You've seen a measure of it. But God has for you is massive. You need the grace of God to sustain it. You need the voice of God to sustain it. You need the fire of God to sustain it. Shuku. Shuku. Rain on him like fire. I will clothe you in splendor, says the Lord. I will clothe you like royalty, says the Lord. Right now, you are limited. Right now, there's just so much you can do. But God says, I am giving into your bosom. You're going to feel it right now. I am giving into your bosom wealth, 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 wealth from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Clothe him, clothe him. Clothe him. Father, thank you for your servant. This voice that you've given to the people. Let this voice grow stronger now. Stronger. Daddy, I pray a stronger voice. Like he's never had before. A voice to raise generations above him. In the name of Jesus. You are known for your voice, your physical voice. Now you'll be known as a voice who speaks into the lives of people, into generations around you. Father, touch him. In the midnight hour, you're going to have a visitation from the Lord. He's going to come into your room and he's going to speak to you directly, directly, directly in the midnight hour. You will not even have to question. He's just going to impart. <laughs> you know why? He knows what's going on here. He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. He knows what's happening right now. He's going to visit you. Visit you, sir. He's going to visit you. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Set aside. Set aside. There are men of God, and then there are men of God who are set aside. You have been set aside. I see you are part of a group, an organization. You serve diligently, but God has elected you, He has taken you out. And set you aside. And I see you flourishing. So I see you and I see branches, branches, branches coming out, coming out, coming out. Branches, ministry branches coming out. You will be a voice set aside, set aside, set aside to do mighty exploits. Father, thank you. Strength for the journey. Strength for the journey. Strength for the journey, daddy. Strength for the journey. This is your son. This is your son. Strength for the journey. In the name of Jesus. You have something on your life that's glorious. You have something on your life that's powerful. When people come around you, they're going to feel the glory of God. Just like this, just like this, just like this. Father, I'm going to do something, forgive me. Father, anoint him. Yes. Anoint the feet of the man of God. Yes. Beautiful are the feet oh, that yes. carry the gospel. As he takes it, Father, the fire of God will flow, flow, flow. Bring the woman of God here. They work so hard. They work so diligently. They give everything of themselves. Father, I pray. Now, a reward. Now. They don't have to wait to get to heaven for rewards. They can have it here too. Father, a heavenly reward. 
a heavenly reward, a heavenly reward in Jesus' name. It will be as thus saith the Lord over your mouth and over your lips. You will speak as an oracle of God. Great voice. Great voice. It is not over. Your work is not done. The season for ministry is not over. It's just another level. Another level, another level, another level, another level. Father, use her. Use her. Strength. I pray for strength. I pray strength. The journey has been tough. It's been a rough time walking, doing what you called it to do. And she, she just does it, Lord. But I pray strength. I pray strength. 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 Holy Spirit. I see you in your season of life right now. You're an egg and has cracks in it because things have happened. It's been tough. It's been a rough season in your life. But I see God taking that egg and holding it. He has you. He has you. He has you and he will not let you go. <laughs> you are his. Woman of God, you are his. He has separated you. You are his. Now daddy, financial provision. Financial provision like she's never experienced before. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pastors. Hallelujah. Oh my God, sir. Change it. 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 Now, now, change, change the situation, change it, change it, he's your child, change it. A 48-hour turnaround, Saturday, Saturday, you'll have the answer, Saturday, in the name of Jesus. Father, bless our mother. Bless her with divine grace. You tap into the anointing, now receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. That was your desire. I just want to tap into that anointing. Let her receive. Let her receive. Shata, rashate, oshakata. Roshete, ra ta 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 ta. Now, a fresh wind over her life. <sighs> Servant of God, it's time now to run. It's time now to run. You've been walking. It's time to run. Run with what God has for you. Run. Run, run, run. Run with the anointing. Run with the fire of God. Run with the presence of God. Run in the name of Jesus. Father, fill him now. Shh. Fill him now. Shh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't let anyone tell you you cannot do it. Look at me. Don't let anyone tell you you cannot do it. You can. He has set you aside. He has anointed you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, set aside. Set aside. From today, you are set aside. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Okay, thank you, Lord.
You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Hallelujah. Sir, yes, thank you. I almost forgot. Hallelujah. I just want to do one more thing. I need one usher to help me quickly, and then I'll do an offering, and then we'll dismiss. <sighs> Never to be the same again. Never, 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 never. Don't understand you. Then don't understand you. Yes. But that's because you press in. Yes. You know how to press in. You know how to press in because you know that's the only way you get your miracle. You don't get it otherwise. You know that you had to press in to get your miracle. Yes. You had to press in to get your harvest. So you know how to press in. So now in the name of Jesus, yes. a greater measure of glory. Yes. A greater measure of glory yes. comes on you now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're going to receive an offering and then we're going to close. Is that okay, Archbishop Reverend Lucy? Is that okay? We're going to receive an offering and then we close. So, thank you. Hallelujah. I'll tell you a quick story and then we receive an offering. I was a student at Lee University in the United States in Tennessee. And as it goes, you know, students don't have a lot of money, you know. And uh, I went to a service, Reverend Lucy, just like this one. I was all of 19 years old. And all I had in my pocket was $5, Dr. Edward, $5. Now for a student who's 19 years old, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of McDonald's. We can buy a lot of McDonald's with that in America. So I uh, went there, and there was a great man that night preaching. Dr. T.L. Lowry. T.L. Lowry. One of the greats. This man carried an anointing on him. I will never forget it. We would sit in the cafeteria of the university, and one day we were eating lunch. And we sensed, Archbishop, we sensed something changed in the atmosphere. We sensed the entire cafeteria had changed something. And we felt something, had somebody, something. It was a, and Dr. T. L. Lowry, at 76 years old, was walking past the building. Oh, his presence just changed the atmosphere because of what he carried. So he was in the service and he was preaching and teaching. And... Uh, he said, we're going to receive an offering because today is a special offering for the TV ministry of this church. It was North Cleveland Church of God. And they had a TV ministry they just launched, which was going to all of the USA and to the islands of the USA, Hawaii and all those places. And he said, give your very best. Give your very best. It may cost you something to give it today, he said. But give your very best because God will give it back to you. I said, well, Lord, you know, I've got $5 in my pocket. What do I do? I worked out in my mind. I eat at the school's cafeteria every day, so I didn't have to worry about food. I said, well, Lord, I'm going to sow this $5. And here I am, and that's all I had in my pocket. My bank account is all I had. And as the basket came by, I dropped in the $5. You know, you get to that point sometimes. I don't know, maybe Kenyan people don't do that. South African people have that tendency. We, we wonder, should I just take the money back out, you know, because <laughs> I don't know if I really sold this thing. And I gave the $5, and I said, okay, Lord, it's in your hands. I'll leave it to you. The next day, it's, it was something that changed my perspective of giving. The next day, I went to my post box. The university had a post office, and we each had post boxes where each student got mail. I went to my post box, I opened my mail, I took out, and there was an envelope there, 
with just my name Jonathan on it and normally in the USA they have return addresses and things like that but that wasn't the case this was just a plain envelope and Reverend Lucy I opened the envelope and in that was a letter it said Jonathan the Lord told me to give this to you you do not have to know who I am and was a hundred dollars now in 1997 a hundred dollars was a lot of happy meals I can buy a lot of food with that <laughs> God was just trying to show me son I saw you gave sacrificially I saw you gave uh, when you didn't really have to give but son more importantly I saw you gave out of your heart out of your heart I have a, a relationship with God I have a love relationship with him so I love him that's why I give to him if you if you have that perspective in your giving it changes your level of giving because when you love somebody you give your best sir you love your wife so you give her the best you don't give her second best you will give her the portions of meat that have meat and everything on it and you will keep the bones you want to make sure she's taken care of I have the same relationship with my daddy God I give him my best because I love him so much so everything I have is his because everything I have he's given to me I've never done this alone Today I want you to take out your seed in your hand and I want you to prepare your heart for what you're going to give. There are expenses in this conference. Archbishop, Reverend Lucy have done so much in giving to us this week. Uh, the whole team that's here, all six of us, have been greatly blessed. We have been spoilt. Can I tell you the measure of how much we get spoilt? I want to show you how your Archbishop and his precious wife do. This is a little card with the Wi-Fi code on it. Now, South Africans need Wi-Fi. We cannot function without it. And I think you're caught that. But you know what blessed me? Reverend Lucy, I looked at this last night. Doc, it's not just a piece of paper with the code on it. It's printed in color. It's cut beautifully and it's laminated. That level of excellence shows the level of love. That you do it with. It's important. It's important. When I saw it, Dr. Nico, it blessed my heart. It showed me the heart of the servant of God to bless the men of God. Today, as you prepare your seed, give it with full conviction. Daddy, I love you. So I'm giving you my best today. I'm giving you my best everything i have is yours i'm giving it to you so right now i'm going to pray and then we're going to get the team to come and you're going to worship for us as the folks come and bless there are expenses of course they've flown us in they've taken care of us uh, i cannot tell you how spoiled and how blessed we are i have preached in many churches i've done a lot of things in in my time very few have done so much in fact I know it's recorded on TV, but I can safely say not very many have done this. Maybe one or two. The level of what you do, sir, is just... But, 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 but... And I want you to know that. You need to know that. You need to know that they spare no expense. You know why? They understand what they did by bringing us in was for you. They get blessed. Oh, don't get me wrong. They get blessed. God rewards them. They are God's servants. He will take care of them. But they do it for you. Why would a pastor pay? Come on. Why would a pastor pay for airline tickets? For people he doesn't really know. Why would a pastor do that? Because he wants you to be blessed. He wants you to receive wants you to receive that's the level of love he has for his people interesting principle you can have a mega church and still love your people unconditionally you can have a huge church and still be so in love with your people with your sheep and take care of them it, it you, you would do anything for them just to see them blessed 
So, take your seat in your hand. Let's pray. And then you come and you receive a chair. You bless. And uh, I want you over the next few days of the conference, to tonight, tomorrow, and uh, Sunday, come prepared. Go home also. If you don't have seed right now, you haven't carried anything with you, um, I want you to go home and prepare your heart. Father, what should I give? What should I give towards this specific expense of this conference? What should I give? Ask God to prepare your heart. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for every person in this house that has brought seed to sow. Your word says you give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Today, Lord, I pray supernatural seed as they come and they bring it. Father, I thank you as they lay it down at the altar. Thank you, Lord. Every need is met of this conference. Every expense is met of this conference. Father, I thank you. There will be not a single bit of lack. This house will be blessed. Now, Father, thank you. As your people give, you give back to them some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. You bless them indeed and multiply them. Enlarge their territories. May they be lenders and not borrowers. May they have and never be in want. May they be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. May they be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in their coming in, blessed in their going out. May they be blessed on their left hand side and may they be blessed on their right hand side. May they be blessed above them, may they be blessed and beneath them. May they be blessed in their going out and may they be blessed in their coming in. I pray Lord this seed today that they will sow. They will see a mighty harvest of provision in their lives in the mighty name of jesus and everybody said amen go ahead come bring your seed as the worship team would lead us you can come and bring your seed to the altar Hallelujah. Hey, my god is good If you want the pay bill number, 254999 is the pay bill number we are using this week. Uh, if you are online, you can use that pay bill number, 254999, uh, to give your offerings this week so that we can be able to cater for the, uh, the visitors. And we are happy, we are happy. If you are here and you feel you have something you would like to give directly to the servants of God to cater for their food, to cater for their drinks, uh, please come and see uh, our pastor here. Where is, the, where is the pastor? Dr. Edward, well, come and stand here. Anybody who feels you have something you'd like to, 
uh, to give because of our visitors. Please see Dr. Endor here. And uh, you can also make a pledge and bring it tomorrow. You can also give cash, uh, whatever you feel is good to do. Amen. Are you happy today? Or are you not coming to see Dr. Edward? Edward? Only one lady. You are telling me you are happy and you are doing nothing. I hear. Uh, where, Madam, where, Umemwana? Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. You are saying you are happy and you are not seeing. Aya. We. Kwani mikoneno haikuwa kina ngufu? Yo, 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 yo. I hope haja kwa mkwakishwa. We. Hakuna mutu mungine anaona Edward? Uh, ask your neighbor. You, you can't go and see Dr. Edward there. Ask your neighbor. Yeah, Kiprono has decided to see Dr. Edward. Another lady. Pastor Kamande has decided to see Dr. Edward there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dr. Edward, somebody is seeing you with the chicken. Mimi ni meona nyinyi wadada hamuna. Wale wadada wako na ngufu mikono mkalibi hapa. Wale wako na maso, fanya hivi? Fanya hivi niona? Hey, hiyo ni kubwa na bona mnaangusha mtu. Aya. So I wonder whether Dr. Edward will take a chicken. Where, is, where, where are the deacons? Please. Dr. Edward might take the chicken and it brings complications. And the visitors will, no, uh, uh, will take soup. There is a chicken here. <laughs> Reverend Nico, there is a chicken here that has been brought to life. And uh, it's a blessing. Where? Apa naenda simka ya apa chike ni muna fikiria ni kitu kidogo. <laughs> please come, please come and bless, bless the work of God. We, bona pe, unangalia pesa na macho bada ya kushukua. Haia. Uh, let's appreciate these people who are blessing uh, the servants of God. We thank God. We are now going to hear the prophet, but we are going to have a health break so that you can walk a bit, so that you can uh, go outside there, maybe have a cup of tea uh, or a, a, a cup of water. And with the men, we said, Shai na Shapati. Papale. You can get it there. I don't know. The ladies can eat rice or something else. Uh, I, I don't know why we don't all like chapati and shai. But there are some ladies that like it. Please, we, ha we will have a short break. After the short break, we are going to welcome the prophet uh, Lela Kol, Lela Hapa in the, in the next service. And when he wakes up, I will conclude the meeting. I want to tell you that we don't have much time. We will have them again tomorrow, the whole day. And uh, in the night, because we have a Kesha tomorrow night. That is when they will have now uh, the time of their lives to minister to us. They will prophesy, they will live yell, they will speak. And then we will rest on Saturday and meet again on Sunday. Sunday, the services are short, they are not very long. I would recommend you all come to Kesha and get ministration of the word of God and of the gifts of the prophets. And the Bible says that if you receive a prophet, you will receive what? A prophet's reward. So we will be able to get a prophet's reward from this meeting. And uh, I pray that God will be with you. Anybody else to see Dr. Edward? If you are online and you want to support this meeting, Please, that is the number, 254999. And if you cannot get that pay bill number, you can channel your support to the Safaricom numbers. 
uh, that we have put on your screen. You, you just use those numbers to channel your blessing here. Uh, it will get to us and we will be uh, blessed people. Can we stand up and pray our last prayer? Uh, then we'll be back here. Your dad, Anatakanini, will you? Will you? Ume Saidika? Or Machini Hamuna? Okay, okay, okay. Maina, uh, next time we will not wait for you to get the machine. We will deal with you horizontally. <laughs> how, how can you come here without the machine? <laughs> So uh, we are going to pray and um, believe that do we have anybody that would like to get saved? You want to receive Jesus as your personal savior? Please lift up your hand if you are there. Is there anybody that wants to get saved this day before we close this meeting? Kuna mtu anasikia kuokoka. Inua mkono wako ni kuone. You know why I have asked? Because I have felt there is something there is somebody thing that is not right. If your name, you know your name is not written in the book of life, lift your hand and come here. Come here. This is where you have your name uh, written in the book of life. For if you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, believe in your heart, you will be saved. Please come, please come, please come, please come. And everybody that says, I want to receive Jesus as my personal savior. Come, 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 come. Let's appreciate them as they come. Come, 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 come to Jesus. He loves you. Do not postpone and say, I will go tomorrow. Tomorrow is not yours. When you hear the word, that is the time to get born again. Anybody else? Let's appreciate them as they come. Come, 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 come to him. He loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In this service, we have six people who have backslidden. They were saved, born again very well, but you have committed a sin and went back. Now your name is removed from the book of life because of what you did. And you feel uh, this is the time to give your life to Jesus. Please come. You are six people. I wish all of you would come here because I knew that by the Spirit that six people here have their names removed in the book of life because of something they did. Please come here. Please come. This is the day of salvation. Come and give your life to Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How many are those? Two more, two more, two more, two more, two more, two more people. Si unajua vile ulifanya, siwe ni mtu muzima. You know what happened. Come, come and recommit yourself to Jesus. The Bible says, seek God when he can be found. That means there will come a time when God will not be found. Seek him. When we can find him. Where are you? Come and seek him when he can be found. Seek God when he can be found. Thank you, sister. One more. One more. My dad wanaweza kukaa bila boyfriend. Hawezi kugojeka? Haya yule amebaki ni mwanaume anamsubua. Ndiye anakataa kuokoka vizuri. Naomba akuje hapa. Mwanaume kuja hapa tafadhali. Oh, I thought he is the one. Hallelujah. We thank God for you people. Uh, bow your hands and say after me, Lord Jesus, from today, I confess you as my personal savior. I repent my sins. I change my life by accepting you as my personal savior. Let the blood of Jesus Christ wash me clean. And from today, I'm a child of God. 
in Jesus mighty name amen let me pray for you father in Jesus name I commit this brethren into your hands there is nothing impossible with you because you save and you also Lord maintain people in salvation and you keep them for that day I pray that they will be now forgiven all the sins they have done in this world. That, Lord, you will deceive them and have their names written in the book of life. Lord, we thank you for the act of salvation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible says when one person gets saved, there is joy in heaven. Let there be joy in the CFF. Where? You, 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 there, there is a pastor there. You, you see the, the woman wearing maroon as there? See, see, see her. Uh, they will instruct you what to do. And brethren, you have done well. You are now children of God. <laughs> amen, amen. Let's make our last prayer, prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, as we uh, go for a, a health break for a, or, 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 uh, an hour or half an hour, Bless us, Lord, and um, as we come back ready to receive your prophet, we know that our lives will never be the same again. We thank you, Lord, for the men who have spoken now, the Reverend Nico who has spoken to us, Lord, this morning, uh, your servant who has just ended, Jonathan. Bless them, Lord. They have lab labored to see that your spirit comes into this service. I commit your people into your hands as we come back, Lord, we give you glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I, I don't know whether uh, most of you know that uh, for you to come and stand here and the spirit moves, there is some labor you have done. It's not free. And um, those that want to be used by God, there is some work we do. Because the Bible says that you first go and work in the in, till in the rod. Then after you come and serve the master, then you come and stand before people. It is some work, and it is the rewardable. That's what Jonathan and Nico have done this morning, and we are looking forward to see uh, the man of God, the prophet, will come and uh, uh, handle us the next service. Then, if if time remains in the evening, I will make the conclusion. This, this week I'm concluding. Bye-bye. Those that are online, God bless you very much. Jonathan, the people online were complaining that you are not ministering to them. There were many, many, many online. And I told them tomorrow you'll do something about it. God bless you. Bye-bye. Let's meet after some time. We love your name, Jesus. You're a beautiful one. We Yeah.